here in Kenosha, Wisconsin. That's Outpost Gaming right there behind me. I'm here to check out a big Flames of War event that they're putting on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the attack on Normandy, D-Day. They're running a ton of games in there. They're running games out on the sidewalk, people walking by, checking it out. And I kind of wanted to come by and see what it was all about, talk to Rick from the Battle Badgers who helped to put it together, and uh, just kind of see how things are going. We have a pile of Stuarts over here, right? These are light tanks. Everyone, and they're reconnaissance tanks. So you're going to get a free move before the game starts. Uh, well, the Battle Badgers have been a Flames of War group for probably about three years now. Uh, it kind of started off with two of us picking up the game and unfortunately we, we couldn't find a store in the area that carried it. And then we lucked out and Outpost Games opened up and it was right there in his, uh, in his storefront. So this kind of became home. Wherever you're heading, pick the guy up and you say just like that. Go ahead. And the gun team behind the half track. Five, ten. Go. Dead and dead. All right, so they were heads total. We, we tried to, as a ranger group, we, we try to do as many big events as we can. You know, we, we do Thanksgiving every year. We've done that three years now. Uh, we, we line up a big old 20-foot table, and get a bunch of people out here with all their tanks. Um, we do uh, tournaments, large tournaments quarterly. Uh, we always make it a point to get up there and play with the guys from Madison for the Cheesehead Championship. But uh, we're actually going to be running that one down here next year in Kenosha. We're really excited about that. What's up? here, so he's the same. This guy can only see him and it's with it. So yeah, fives, if you want to use your stabilizers. So for the 70th anniversary of the Normandy invasion, um, we, we got it in our heads that we were going to try to break a world record and uh, teach a bunch of people to play Flames of War, maybe raise uh, some money for a good cause. So uh, a couple months ago we went to work uh, buying, building, and painting some infantry forces, some uh, uh, 29th Infantry Division for myself, it was my first foray into the Allies. Then um, building tables, lots of tables, uh, Point to Hawk, Easy Green Beach, Sword Beach. Spent a lot of time putting them all together. And then doing it this weekend, you know, running the whole campaign, um, selling raffle tickets to raise money for the uh, all 82nd Airborne chapter. Uh, good cause. Uh, Battlefront has donated a, uh, a large amount of models. The game group, the Battle Badgers, have uh, thrown together some uh, models and cash as well as well as Outpost Games. And actually, one of the guys that came all the way up from Indianapolis, not only did this guy drive four hours to be here Thursday at midnight to play with us, uh, Novak uh, actually donated a king, a brand new King Tiger to the, uh, to the raffle, which was, which was just all kinds of amazing. Three, three is six. It's not enough, right? So you're gonna roll a firepower check. Uh, you need a four with that gun. Two. So this tank is bailed out. Yeah, the, uh, cross uh, well, when it comes to events, we, we do a lot of ranger events where we travel to different stores. Um, this coming week, we're going to be down in Gray's Lake at Unique Gifts and Games, teaching people to play. The week after that, we're going to be at Flying Phoenix Games uh, with Kevin Peters up there in uh, Oshkosh. As far as the big events go, we have not actually scheduled uh, our, our next uh, big themed event. We were talking about it, though and we're pretty sure it's going to be Kursk. Um, it's going to be Eastern Front at the very least, uh, possibly Stalingrad, maybe Kursk. Um, you know, we just need an excuse to buy a whole bunch more models. 